Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Good morning. This is Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and I have a different type of video for you today. Instead of a plan with me, I'm going to show you a flip through of something personal to me as I've uh, been working on it for a while and um, I'd like to share. It's kind of a DIY planner of sorts. So this is my skinny mini, which a skinny mini is a, basically a mini planner cut in half or a planner that fits the half sheets that go with the minis. So this is basically the size of your pages. That's what I've been using. And then I just made a cover as I'll show you here. Right here for the planner. Um, I also made this cover and this charm. And this just holds stickers that I've made, coupons. Oh, forgot to use that Michael's coupon. Well, go by. <laughs> and then just, you know, paper clips and little die cuts and different things. I put this on uh, rose gold, let's get full. Rose gold discs and just stuck it on here. But I also wanted to show you, we're going to be carrying these covers in our shop that go with the other covers that we make. And they just snap right on. Like I said, mine's kind of full. I need to take some pages out of here or put it on bigger discs. These just snap right on here if your planner's not too full. <laughs> it's way easier. And then this snaps around the front and then you can just stick it in your purse. Now again, it doesn't fit on this one well because uh, it's too full. And I'm thinking people are gonna probably want to make these half minis chunky, so we'll make sure to accommodate the size and have these four originals that come on the mini disc and bigger in case you wanna add classic discs. back into here and give you a little flip through. It's it's a mess right now because I've been trying to design some new inserts and, and different things that, and uh, so I've been just sticking them in here to see, but for now, it's what it is. <laughs> so I took some uh, post-it notes that came with a teacher planner and stuck them in here because they already come pre-punched for you. And this was a die cut from the Miss Maker line and I laminated it. And this was just a little sheet of paper I stuck in and just a little dashboard of a, a design I was working on. And then I just had these, these are all, <laughs> we're gonna take these out. These are all brain dump ideas basically, which is what's been making this planner too fat. And uh, this is one of the new uh, half mini half sheets that go with the homebody and I stuck that in there they look like this and these are actually half sheets for the classic size and I cut them down to fit just to show you that you can use those too and then this was a gold worksheet that was on the happy planners website and I just cut that down to fit in here and folded it and you can add little paper clips too for, you know, extra bling. We'll take those off for now. And now what I did for these months is this is actually a divider from a mini. So like this size divider right here. And I took it, let's move this out away. And I took it and I cut it at this point. So let's see, that's a perfect little measure here. We have uh, two and a half inches, one, two and a half. I cut it at the two and a half inch mark. Let's do it this way. That'll be a little better. 
actually a little more than two and a half. You could really cut it any size you wanted. But I cut it at two and a half, and then I took the cutoff piece and glued it onto the back so that the back didn't uh, have the month, because that's always what's on the back of the calendar, just to make it look a little more finished. And then I just punched it with the Happy Planner Punch and stuck it in here. And then I just took this pack, comes with the other half of the um, paper is notes. And these are weekly plans with the days of the week on them. So I just took these and I made my own perpetual calendar by just writing down one through 31 for January, 2020 and the day of the week. And then I just write down my plans that I know ahead of time because I needed a place to put them because this is a planner that I keep in my purse because I take it with me every week for a grocery store and I just stick one of these in which came with the uh, one of the recipe planner um, <laughs> recipe box kits. These were little extras that were stuck in there so I fill out my grocery list and then take this whole thing with me to the grocery store and then I have my list with me. So I just did this for every single month but I know things are going to be going on for next year, especially school things. So it's just through October. Then we get to November, and I want to take some of these out of here too. There's some more doodles and ideas. And then this month is a little busier because it's obviously going on and getting filled in more. And then I have, this was just a leftover piece from a, um, probably a mini, the packaging and I just cut it down and then put a little Carpe Diem sticker on it. It says priorities to use as a bookmark. But then I also remember that Happy Planner has mini bookmarks which work perfectly in here. And then I use these to write down my plans and usually I just do a little fancier date. I don't put stickers in here. Sometimes I doodle, sometimes I do stickers. Maybe I'll do a plan with me sometime. And then I just uh, write the date over on the side and then write what's going on. And then I will use the back of the page because again, I stick these in here. And before I write out my grocery list, I use the back during the week when I remember things that I need to add to my grocery list. And I just write them on here and then I transfer here to put them in the order of the grocery store, the aisles, because it makes it easier for me to shop. So then this is just basically next week's. And then there's December. And then I have this little bookmark that my daughter drew and I just keep my note section back here. Just notes I have so that I always have paper with me. And then again, here's another uh, half sheet that I cut down to fit. And then I just have a plain black plank back cover and that's about it. So I thought maybe, even though I already have um, next week, there's November right here, next week already written out, I want, I had this idea and I just wanted to do a little bit of a DIY decorating idea. Don't know how it will work out, but we will try and see. So what you need is some type of template. This is a, it's very old. This is a Westcott, it was from Amazon and I bought this when I first started bullet journaling. All the numbers are, are worn off the top, but I still use the shapes. And what I wanted to do is take a pen, a small pen. This one's a thinner pen. And I was thinking since everybody's been doing the, um, what do you call that? The, uh, the planner babe, the disc. You can actually make your own disc. Really, really simple. So first we'll start off by drawing a circle and you have to pick a size you want. So we're just gonna add it to the top because there won't be any plans up here. So let's do a smaller one maybe. Um, maybe this size up here. And if you just draw the circle and then you fit a smaller circle inside of that circle. Then 
and you have your disc. And then if you just draw your own little heart inside, it doesn't have to be perfect, just however you like. And then take your mild liners. And pick a color, um, I don't know. Actually, let's do a purple one. And then just color that in. have your own little disc. So if you did that all the way down the side with different shaped circles, you can actually even make them go off. So I put this other piece of paper so I can actually draw the circle and it will just be cut off. And then just find the one that fits inside of here. And then draw your little heart. Then you have your disc and you can color that one to yellow. And if you keep going down all the way, you can keep decorating. So you could draw another, you can do a really small disc if you want to add one in there. Do it behind there. smaller heart and maybe we want to do a blue one. Clear that one in. You know, and then we could even do a half one over on this side. to be hand drawn right and then we you know finish doing that down here and then you can write the date up here I can't really write with this ring up hold on Ugh. move to this thumb <laughs> and then that, so next week is November she used a thicker pin because this one's kind of rough on this mat what is next week November 25th December. First. And then take and color that in. I haven't used green yet. Actually, it's Thanksgiving. Let's use brown. You know, and then color that in. Blend it a little bit with some orange. Write the numbers real small here, like this. We'll just try it this way. So this is the 25th. Write right, really small if it's 26. Wednesday is the only one that doesn't fit real well, but there's enough room. 28. December 1st already. So you get the idea. So we can make a, another one here. Maybe we want to make this one in a little more. Get my paper behind it. And you just keep finding the circles that fit. gel pen and get a little brighter color out of it if you wait a little bit. 
but there you go and then it's just really easy just to write your what you're going to be doing that day in here and you have your plans that you can take with you we didn't put our little little charm back on I want to show you how cute it is having it um, hang from the bottom so then you have your little charm here and you have your little charm here and they also work if you have your clear cover on too. Once again, if I took papers out, it would fit way better. You need to take like a chunk of paper out of here. <laughs> like all these out. Let's try it. I just want to show you how it closes much nicer if you, uh, less in here. There we go. And then you just open it up and you just use it. There you go. Have fun.